Welcome back everybody to 7 Days to Die, an old guy gaming, and we are about ready to start Horde Knights uh, 77. Uh, if you have not last, uh, last, if you have not watched the last episode, in that episode we did our prep for tonight's Horde. Um, the plan is to see how well our, our little, um, whatever you might want to call this, our defenses, hold up to the Horde. If they don't hold up well, we're going to pop out, oh shits, we're going to drop down onto that roof down there. And fall back to our secondary location. If that is compromised, then we have a, a third fallback location back in the garage. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting for sure. I think what I want to do, too, is i got a whole bunch of recogs. And since we're relying quite a bit on um, shooting for this horde, we're going to go ahead and keep tanked up on that stuff. So we just get that maximum damage. However, we are also going to uh, be using... Uh, sledgehammer action to, Oh, I do have the hatch right? Yeah. Something. In fact, let's start with sledgehammer action for a little bit just to conserve ammo as much as possible. Okay, let's do this. This ought to be interesting. The nice thing about this design is the horde has to do a lot of climbing and going through buildings and stuff even just to get to us. So, you know, we knock them off the ladder. Then they got a long ways to get back up here, so that's going to give us some pretty decent crowd control. Down with ya. You too. Okay. What I unfortunately don't have to work with a lot of is um, explosives. So I just kind of going to rely upon. Edgar, is your head still there? Yes, it was. Okay, we should actually be popping this, and we should also pop this, too. We're going to kind of start off with sledgehammer and shotgun action here, but we'll, uh, it does make it a little hard for me to get to them when they're, you know, down there, so let's just see what we can do, though. See, this would be where it would be uh, really good if we had some extra explosives, but we just didn't get that far. Spent most of the last of this in-game week uh, in the Deshaun, as you guys would know if you've if you watched all the episodes. So far, so good. Let's uh, patch this up. We got a drop here, too. Hey, knock that off, Arlene. Let's see if we can get some group knockdowns with our sledge here. Probably the biggest threat to this design is going to be demos. Of course, demos are the biggest threat to any design anyway, so <laughs> that was kind of a, an obvious statement, I suppose, but it is the Zombo that I'm, I'm the most you know, worried about. All right, Edgar, get up here. Get off your ass, or I'm going to shoot it. There we go. We got a nice group knockdown there. Let's take a pain pill. So does Edgar. It's called my sledgehammer in his face. Dude is not allowed. Oh look, it's Christmas. Nice. don't actually need to be getting that close, but sometimes I do. Get out of here. Get out of here. Nice. What do we 
got in here? Ooh, that's a pretty decent point. Go to town uh, there, sludgy, sludgy poo. Take these mofos out. Have they? That's very astute of you, uh, Roberta the Robotic Drone. Alright, let's do a repair. All good. Back to the sledge. Actually, you know what we should do? I have uh, some of these. Let's take them. We already have pretty high level sledge skills though. Ow! Probably get some shotgun points after the night too. Off of his head. Okay, let's do a little bit of a thingy there. Do I see a buzzard? Oh yeah, I do. Get out of here. There's another one. Come on, bruh. Look at you two Edgar heads. <laughs> Shotgun's doing work. and get these these crawler guys out of here do a repair we're gonna need to re repair the shotgun too in just a little bit here I know we're not alone Roberta Shotgun has improved to level 23. Nice. Hey! Did I get you? Uh, I guess so. Okay. Wasn't sure if those two dead birds were from before. some repairs going on this guy uh, we're gonna eat a shepherd's no actually we're gonna need a gumbo stew for health plus we need to eat anyway what the hell how did that happen did I accidentally oh shit uh, Houston <laughs> did I accidentally close the door I must oh no <laughs> to close the door that was going absolutely beautifully too oh no <laughs> i can't believe that uh, uh spawn on my bed this is not good this is really 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 not good
Where am I? I can't see. I can't see. Where the heck am I at? Uh. Uh-oh. I fell down too far. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. It is like damn near pitch black. I have a ladder here. I have a ladder here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Okay. Wait, am I on it? I can't tell. It is so dark. I can't tell what I'm what I'm doing. Oh, man. Okay, hold on. We got the ladder is here. Uh, uh. There it is. Okay. Man. I mean, I literally can almost not see anything at all. It is Okay. Now, are we on the right floor? Yes. Yeah, I must have accidentally closed that door. Oh, for goodness sakes, man. Okay, so... Our stuff is down... Oh, uh, shit. Um, okay. What are we gonna do? We, we need our stuff or we can't do anything. was risky. We had to do it, though. Let's we'll grab this while we're down here. Hey, eggs. Wow. Am I my own worst enemy or what? That was just going amazingly, too, you guys. Are they not going to send any more hordies after me? That's too bad. Um, yeah, there, there is some, uh, some damage on the ladders here too. Yeah, I guess. What time is it? All right, so it's about twelve fifty. I guess the game's not going to send any more horde after us. Oh wow, that sucks. That was. Absolutely 110% completely Roberta's fault. I didn't do it. She's the one that put that hatch down. Roberta, what'd you do that for? <laughs> no, I, I inadvertently hit the E button and boom, it was down. Wow. Okay. Well, the good news is that I think I've done a relatively good job of demonstrating that this actually works pretty darn good. Um, those ladders really probably need to be upgraded to steel uh, because they are taking some damage. Uh, some of them are, the ones all the way at the bottom are steel, but the ones up closer here are iron. So that's something we would need to upgrade for the next time around. But yeah, I mean, we were doing swimmingly <laughs> until I screwed it up. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. Can you believe that? You guys are going, uh, yeah, OG, oh, this is you. We can believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a little bit irritated, but at the same time, I'm also kind of happy just to see how well this actually worked. I did not think this was going to be this effective and we didn't even get out here to shoot at him coming up, which, you know, that was another option for us too. But I was, I was kind of waiting to, uh, you know, I was trying to favor the shotgun and the sledgehammer first through here. You know, just to conserve the ammo, because as soon as we start using the M60, even with a thousand plus rounds, I mean, it isn't going to last very long. So, um, all right. Well, yeah, good news. It works pretty good um, to the point where we'll probably go ahead and do this same setup for the next Horde Night, except for, you know, I'll get those ladders, plan on getting those ladders upgraded to steel and these rails upgraded to steel, too. And maybe even that walkway down there, though, they don't really damage that walkway. They have no reason to damage the walkway because I'm all the way up here. So, yeah, for goodness sakes. All right, you guys. Well, I guess uh, I guess we're done with Horde Night. I mean, I think I'm going to stay up here, though, until it's actually done. Just because, you know, we are in the wasteland and it is nighttime and it's dangerous no matter what day it is. And then in the morning, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and start our move to the Deshong Tower. I mean, because there's not a whole lot else to do at this point in time. Okay, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the morning.
All right, guys, it is morning. Uh, the rest of the Horde night passed by uneventfully. Uh, thank, thankfully. Thankfully uneventfully. Uh, so our uh, main goal for today is to uh, to get moved over to the Deshong Tower. I'm not going to really do anything with this until... Uh, the next horde night is, uh, you know, getting close. We'll probably have another, you know, pre maybe just a half a prep day or so. But I'm planning on just doing it again. We just, <laughs> I just got to make sure I don't put another hatch up. I wonder, you know, maybe what I should do is put a second hatch going the other way around. Uh, just as a, um, you know, as a safety net, so to speak. Yeah, that's probably what I should do. I think I'll do that. Uh, just so I don't accidentally do that again. But anyway, yeah, so... Uh, I think what I want to do for this move is, this is going to be a pain in the ass. There's just no two ways about it. <laughs> uh, but I think what I want to do for this move is a take a chest or maybe even two or at least one chest down there uh, at the bottom of the ladder that we can load, you know, load stuff into and then we can haul it all up the ladder uh, it does, you know, because once we're on the ladder, then the encumbrance no longer applies, which never has made really much sense to me, but it's the way the game works. And so we're just going to take advantage of that. Um, and so what I want to do is, can I make another one of those large iron storage thingies? Uh, let's take a look. So large iron storage, or yeah, large iron storage. Um, so I just need a little bit more iron to do that. So yeah, the plan will be, uh, and maybe I'll actually make two more of these, uh, only because, I mean, eventually we're going to want them anyways, right? Um, I might have to make, I will have to make some more bolts though if we do that, and I need a little more iron. Uh, but the plan is put one of these at the bottom of the Deshong ladder, one at the very top of the Deshong ladder, and then we can just, you know, haul, you know, tons and tons of stuff up the ladder to get it to the top, and then I can just kind of slowly sort it out. Once we get it up there. I mean, I could do the same thing, I guess, though, with a smaller, uh, you know, a smaller storage container. Like, let's see, what does this have? This has 30 slots. That's got 36. I mean, we could use that. It just means it's going to be a few more trips. But I suppose, you know, I suppose that could work, too. But it it's not, there's no harm in making a couple more of those um, large storage crates because we're going to want them anyway. So I think that's the plan. All right. So what are, what's what's the iron situation now? Uh, we turned it all into steel. <laughs> that's what the iron situation is. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I guess that means I need to go mine a little bit more iron. So we shall do that. Uh, we did pick up just a couple of uh, things uh, from loot on the horn. Ooh, including a nice orange wrench. That's a that's a nice find. And uh, we found this purple mining helmet so what are we currently using we're using this f level ratchet which does 58.1 block damage base what does this do 57.9 it's just a couple of decimal points lower uh, oh i guess we have one there too than that so uh, we'll just keep using the ratchet then all right, guys. Well, I'm going to cut the camera here. I'm going to go mine up some iron, put a few things away. And when I come back, when I have enough stuff to make those those two crates, I'll bring you guys back at that point and we'll get that set up uh, and get started with the move to the Deshong Tower. All right, guys, we are back and we have just about enough of the iron. We need to make two more of these chests. Uh, so let's get the first one going, and I am going to have to make some more nuts and bolts, and I have more iron plating still cooking up in here. So for the nuts and bolts, those I think also require ingots and not plates, right? Yeah, okay. So how many more of those do we need to make the second one? Uh, large iron storage. Uh, we're going to need another 34. Okay. Why don't we make... Uh, why don't we make 50 more of these? And that should give us enough plating to make another one of these. Yes, it does. Okay, so we're just waiting for the bolts, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, for that. And then we'll put one of these at the bottom uh, of the ladder. The second one we'll put at the very top of the ladder. And then we can just load it up 
Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to get every single thing we possess in 128 slots, but we'll be able to get the lion's share of it in there, and then we can cart it all up in one shot. Um, and then, you know, divvy it out when we get uh, up to the top of the tower. So that is the plan uh, for that. Let's see. So, um, uh, oh, that's right. I forgot. These make, like, more than more. They make more. <laughs> uh, I just want enough for now to make this other uh, container. Okay, so let's make that. And then, like I said, this is not at all a waste of time because we have, um, you know, we'll be able to use those in the future. And, I mean, I, I don't really need 128 slots for, Roberta breaks those, uh, for a drop chest, uh, you know, under normal circumstances. So we'll probably, once we get everything moved, we'll move the big chest upstairs and we'll, I'll put a smaller uh, drop chest down for each one of those. Now, getting stuff down from up here is going to be fun because, um, you know, we have the much smaller chests, but I don't think it'll be too terribly bad. And I'll probably work on most, if not all, of that off camera anyways. Um, so, okay. How are we doing? You are ready to go. Okay. So let's head on down to the Deshong Tower and get these in place to get ready for the move here. Sounds like we have our usual greeting committee down here. Okay, so... We're going to put the first chest up high enough to where the Zomblos can't hit it, but where we can still reach it from down here. So probably, that's probably good right there, I'm thinking. And yeah, we can still reach it from down here. Okay. So basically what we'll do is we'll drive up to here with the motorcycle. We'll park the motorcycle here, um, and then I'll just... If I stand on top of this thing, I'm a doodle. Okay, I can reach that, and I think I can reach the motorcycle there. I'll I'll figure it out. Um, can I put a block in here? Probably not. Well, I guess I could do this. I could stand here, and then yeah, okay, maybe we'll do that then. That could work. I don't want to think too terribly hard about this because you know it's just all about getting everything moved up here anyway so and then once we get it all moved then you know then we'll have to do a little more thinking in terms of how we're going to organize stuff uh, but even that with that i'm not going to go uh real crazy with it just because this even even up here is not our our final you know permanent <clears throat> setup it's just a temporary you know kind of staging place until we get um you know, our, our permanent quarters built. Okay, so we come up to the top of this ladder here. If I stick you... Oh, that's cool. You can see the sign from all angles. I love that. Very, very smart design. Uh, if we put that right there, then we can, of course, reach it from the ladder, and then we can come in here and still reach it from quite a ways out from here to take stuff over to here. Okay, cool. I think that'll work work pretty good. I think that'll work pretty good. Okay, so guys, um, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here. might be a little bit earlier than, you know, uh, or a little shorter episode than what I would normally do, but we're kind of at, you know, just a good stopping point here. So my plan is to get everything moved over to the Deshong. And once I get it moved and get it, you know, reasonably organized, understanding once again that it's a, a temporary, even that's going to be a temporary setup, um, then I'll bring you guys back at that point. And I, I think what we should probably do in the next episode is go do some looting uh, or maybe do some quests. We haven't done that in a while, but I am going to start, 
you know, dividing up the episodes between, uh, you know, building episodes, working on the Deshong Tower and, you know, the normal stuff, the looting and then doing quests and all of that sort of thing. Uh, so that is the plan coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.